imagine at all that could be again. Uh, Mehra Saadi says he's no hero, uh, but he managed to get uh, many guests to safety when a gunman strolled the through these hotel the grounds last but June targeting tourists. He killed 38 people before being shot dead by police. The resort is now closed and many members of staff have lost their jobs. But there is hope the tourists will return. Tunisia and tourism will never get separated. And we have a lot of people, they really like to be here in Tunisia and they are really beloved to Tunisia. But the figures are bleak. In Sousse, at least 17 hotels have closed. The number of British tourists coming to Tunisia has dropped by 90%. Tunisia's government estimates it's cost them about half a billion dollars. While many people are wondering if the industry will ever recover, Tunisia's government is betting it will. Over the next four years, it plans to increase investment in tourism to a quarter of gross domestic product. That's around $11.5 billion. The government hopes adverts like this will make a difference. Its message, Tunisia is beautiful and safe. But its security forces were criticized for their slow response to last year's attack. There are now armed police on beaches, but British and European authorities are still warning their citizens not to travel there. Many countries face tourist attacks and yet there are no travel warnings on them. France faced an attack almost coordinated with no one on Tunisia. Belgium faced an attack and Turkey has had several terrorist attacks in its most touristic areas. Tourism student Hamdi Kadroui says even if he finds a job, wages are so low he'll never make enough money to buy a house and get married. Hotel and restaurant owners and those who work with tourists have lowered their prices to attract visitors. How can you improve Tunisia's economy with such low prices? Tunisians are warning that another attack is more likely if tourists stay away as it's easier for armed groups to recruit jobless and angry young people. Tunisia has been praised by Western countries as the only success story of the Arab Spring. Now its progress is under threat. Nazani Mashiri, Al Jazeera, Sousse.